take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Although the final duration of retrograde amnesia was typically brief, there was almost always a limit to the recovery. For example, permanent retrograde amnesia was observed in 77% of 200 cases, ranging from 1 to 30 minutes. It was noted that the distant memories returned first and the most recent memories returned last. Make your mark, take our lead. When continuous memory returns, the person can usually function normally. Retrograde amnesia sufferers may partially regain memory later, but memories are never regained with anterograde amnesia because they were not encoded properly. Make your mark, take our lead. In temporally graded retrograde amnesia, victims eventually recover most memories following the onset of RAW. This suggests that the hippocampal formation, consolidation, the process of coding new information, is only used in systematic consolidation for temporary storage and short periods of time. Let's help you make your mark. Here are a few common terms you may encounter. Retrograde amnesia. Describes amnesia where you can't recall memories that were formed before the event that caused the amnesia. It usually affects recently stored past memories, not memories from years ago. Take our lead. Although amnesia is memory loss, forgetfulness, it isn't the same as dementia. Because dementia often includes memory loss, and it also involves other significant cognitive problems that lead to a decline in daily functioning. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.